Hey, my name is Andy O'Neill, and I'm going to do a video for you today. I'm going to actually walk through and build a scenario. I will tell you this scenario I have not built before. I am building it live on the fly in front of you. And uh, this is kind of different than the videos I've done before on the channel. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe for the next one. Let me know you like it, and I'll start doing more of these. Uh, in the past, what I've done is I've kind of built scenarios that deal with like a function or a particular feature of a scenario uh, to kind of help you with your skills. But this time, I'm going to build it start to finish uh, right in front of you, mistakes and all, and uh, we're going to build this. So let me tell you a little bit about the use case. The use case is uh, you're looking at my monday.com board for LinkedIn, and this is how I manage uh, connections with people. I have a, a young lady that helps me with these. Uh, she researches these. And so we keep track of everyone I've tried to connect with, where they are in the status of connecting, and if they potentially turn into a lead that maybe I could work with in the future. A lot of times we send these connection requests and people just don't respond. They don't want to connect. They don't say anything. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe they're not alive anymore. Whatever it is, whatever reason it is, they don't connect with me. So what we want to do is we want to withdraw those requests, but we want to uh, create a status here that says withdraw request that looks and says, hey, is this is this requ request over 30 days old? If so, change the status to withdraw request. And then uh, the person I work with will go and they'll re withdraw those requests and we'll have a record of that in Monday.com. So what we need to do, I have a group here called Connection Requests Sent. And in this group, I want to search it for any requests that are over 30 days. So you look over here on the right hand side, I have a created date. And so this is the date that this item in Monday.com was created. So I'm going to look for any of them that are older than 30 days. So right now it is December 19th, you know, October 29th is this top one, 28th, several from those. Those are obviously over 30 days are updated here, it says they were updated over two months ago. So we're going to jump into that and I'm going to show you how to build a scenario to flip these statuses. Uh, we're going to run it once a day. We're going to flip these statuses in Monday.com. Oh, hey, we're back. All right, I'm coffeeed up now. Let's get started on this scenario. I've created a new scenario in Integromat and I'm going to click right here. I'm going to type Monday and I'm going to wait for the list to populate. I'm going to click on Monday. Now I'm going to look at the items here. What I need to do is search. So if I type down here at the bottom, search, I want to search items in the board by column values. That's exactly what I want, because if I go back over here, what I want to do is I want to search anything that has the lead status as connection request sent. I don't need to search the whole board, just ones that have that status, which are also in this particular group. All right, so I'm going to go over here. For now, I'm going to put limit two just uh, so I can test and see what's going on here. And I'm going to pick my board. Now, you can pick your board here. Uh, and this is the wrong connection. Right here is what I need. Uh, so I can go over here to my board. If I turn off full screen, right here is my board ID. I could paste that in, which I think I might just do or I can select from a list. So I'm going to click map. Uh, if, if I don't click map, if I turn that off, you got a whole list here I can pick from. Uh, I'm going to turn that on and I'm just going to paste the ID right there. Now, the problem with that is now I need to know what the column ID is and to search it. And I think maybe I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back here and flip this on. And uh, this is the one I need. LinkedIn sales pipeline leads. I go up here. LinkedIn sales pipeline leads. So that is the uh, board that I need. So we'll go over here. The column ID I want to search is back over here. I'm looking for lead status. So that's the one I want. So lead status is right there. And the column value, I'm going to need to type the, let's see, inner string value, use labels instead of numeric values. So my label is connection request sent. Now, hopefully I spelled that right, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so the output values. Now, what values do I need to update this? Well, really, the only thing I need is that date created. So I go over here, and I do created. So 
what I'm putting in here is the output column values. So when it finds something, instead of giving me all the data and using up a bunch of data that I don't need to use, I can tell it which ones I need. So by default, I'm going to get the ID back for the item in Monday. Now I'm going to get the creation log or the created date. And then I'm going to use that to filter, make sure they're older than 30 days before I change the status. So that really should be all I need. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to hit Save. Hit Save often. Whenever you hit Save, it creates a, a version. So if you go right here, let me show you this real quick. Previous versions. Missed it previous versions. So now I have a version uh, for 1143, which is right now. Whenever you hit save, it creates a version. So if you mess something up, blow up a module, mess up somehow, you can revert to a last saved version. So that's a really handy tip. All right, so I'm going to hit run on this. and I should get two results. And I do get two results. And here's the created date right there and right there. I uh, really don't need anything else. That's what I need. All right. So next, I want to update the status. So I'm going to click Monday again. I'm going to click uh, update column values of a specific item. That's what I want. Pick the right connection here. Now, um, I'm just going to map these because my board ID is right here. I'm just going to map it from the first step across instead of searching it. And here is my item ID. Sometimes you'll see it called pulse ID. And the column values to change Let's see, it's not loading. Well, that's fun. Let's try this again. Hit OK. Add item should be retrieving the items and it's not well that's special so that's not working that's a little bug i'm going to flip that over and it should find when you put the id and you switch it back um no it didn't switch it back so linkedin sales pipeline leads item id now i want to there's my id and i should get column values to change there it is there it is so lead status I'm going to load that up. I want to change the, the label. So the label is the text, like done, in progress, whatever for Monday. Uh, the index would be like a number. And it's kind of hard to find the numbers for that. So I'm going to choose label. And the label I want to turn it to is withdraw request. All right. There's another one called request withdrawn. So once we withdraw it, we'll change the status manually to that. But here we want to mark these withdraw requests. That's the next thing we want to do with that lead. And I'm going to hit add. And that's really all we need to do except for creating a filter. So this filter is going to use a date to filter out only the ones that are older than 30 days. So let's do this. Let's give it a label. Um, connections older than 30 days. All right, so we're going to go in here and we're going to say created at right down here, date time operators uh, earlier than or equal to 30 days ago. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add days now you can type these these functions uh, if we don't want to do it that way I'll go up to the date here and i can click add days and it'll add it in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add days and i'm going to say now minus 30. all right so that's going to give us a a 30 days ago date now i'm going to copy that i'm going to hit okay uh, and i'm going to add just a lot of times I will like to test these things in a, um, a composed string module. So let's just drop this in here. Add days. I'm going to right click, run this only. And so today is December 19th. So we get November 19th. That's 30 days ago. So that's exactly what we want. So what we're going to do, our filter is going to say anything before or equal to November 19th, let it pass. So it's going to be anything 30 days or older. So that worked. I'm just going to delete that module. And let's see here. Let's go back. 
and we have this set to get two so let's just do that i'm going to save i'm going to hit run and let's go over here and see if we oh there's one right there that popped up so that one worked and there's the other one so now it ran those two and switched it to withdraw request uh, nicholas and gary were the two people there's Gary and there's Nicholas. So this is working perfectly. Now what I'll do is I want this to run once a day. No reason to, to run it more often than that. Every day, uh, we'll say at 3 o'clock a.m. And I'm going to hit save and I'm going to go in here and let's run more than two because I want to try to clean these up as much as possible. So I'm going to put 100 in here. It will process up to 100. I'm going to save. And let's hit run, manually run. And we should start seeing some of these. Yep, they're starting to light up red. Very good. We see our update. Updated just now. So we have a lot of these that are old. older than 30 days that are getting backed out of there and it looks like we're done and it is all right so let's talk about using operations uh, this run of the scenario used 43 operations uh, a trigger is always one operation uh, webhook search I mean in this case it searched and found 42 records but that is still one operation your triggers are always going to use one operation your filters don't use any. Uh, and let's look at the filter real quick. You can see the green means it passed. If we scroll down here, we should, there's some red. So these are ones uh, that didn't have. So this is 12.1. Uh, That's not older than 30 days. And you can see uh, this bundle did not pass. And this particular step didn't pass. If we had multiple ands or ors, it would look at all those and evaluate those. So you can see here we have lots of bundles that did not pass because they're not older than 30 days so the filter does not use any operations uh, filters are free and you can see here we updated 42 records so the total operations used for this scenario is 43 all right well this did exactly what we wanted the next step in our use case would be my friend Laura will go in and she will look these people up and withdraw those requests so that uh, they will they will actually drop to another uh, group on this board in monday.com if you have any questions or ideas for future videos scenarios you would like to see built uh, leave them in the comments below and again don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up button and i appreciate you watching have a great day